How you doing, YouTube? Matt S. of Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of Barrel Aged Hopeful Goodness. Form of Red Brewing is their Down the Rabbit Hole Barrel Aged Volume 10 Willet Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. This was bottled on the 29th of November. This is the 18th, I believe. This comes courtesy my boy Carson. He sent this off. And I'm kind of excited to give it a whirl. I know I say that a lot about a lot of beers. And I've dug the barrel stuff that I've had from Rev. Reef. Reef. Rev. Reef. I don't even know which one's right anymore because I've made that joke so many times. But a couple people told me this is, if I'm going to have one, this is the one I want to have. And I did a couple of these previously. You can go back and check those reviews out. Um, but, uh, yeah. Look at that. That's more oil. I'm kind of scared to drink that because besides burping, that is, uh, yeah, that's dense. Now, label-wise, I love the label. I mean, look at that. It's kind of mesmerizing, kind of that weird kind of spiral shit I was into when I was weird and uh, weird electronic music and, you know, that fatty, weird Mickey's bottle, everything about it. I dig it. And, I mean, if stouts look like this, it's really hard for them to suck. It really is, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's just get a nose. Hmm. Hmm. It smells awesome. That smells awesome. It smells like to think because there's something that smells exactly like that I can't think of and it's going to drive me insane so I'm just going to hum and hum just keep huffing until I don't remember it and just talk anyway it's so I don't eat ice cream I don't eat a lot of cakes and candies and shit like if I'm going to have dessert I want another steak that's kind of how I roll but every now and then, like, I'm talking like three, four times a year, I just want ice cream. I don't want it often. Just every now and then I want ice cream. And my favorite ice creams are, like, pretty old school basic shit. I like chocolate. I like vanilla. You know? I like, like, you know, uh, rum raisin. You know, basic shit. Coffee ice cream. Stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. I don't want a bunch of chunks and weird bits and bobbles. But what I do do, do do, <laughs> what I do happen to do every now and then is I like a little bit of like chocolate syrup in my ice cream. And I'll put a little bit, and by put a little bit, I put way too fucking much in there. Like way too much to the point where I eat my ice cream and I eat the syrup and then I go, my stomach hurts like I'm a four year old kid who ate too much fucking candy. That's how I roll. Now you know why I do it only on like a handful of times a year. That's what this smells like. If that syrup was like barrel aged. So you're getting a lot of like desserty chocolate components off of it. So it's like it's like chocolate and vanilla. I can't tell the difference. I have a really hard time getting between those two. I assume it's a bit of both. I assume you're eating chocolate from roasted malt. I assume you're getting vanilla from the barrel. Uh, there's a soft barrel char to it that's not really omnipresent but it's like there and it, it's a tempering thing kind of like way hops work a lot of times to kind of temper sweetness it's kind of needed there it's still a sweet beer but you get that little bit of soft bittering it's probably coming from a little bit of roasted malts too the bourbon shows up in a very spirit way but not sharp it has a nice roundness to it but it's there it's very impactful and it just comes off as like a, a vanilla, a chocolate vanilla hard ice cream with that chocolate syrup on it. And that chocolate syrup was aged in a bourbon barrel. That's exactly what I'm getting off of this beer. And I'll let you in a little secret. That doesn't suck. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's what it tastes like. It's exactly what it tastes like. So, much more charry, much more bittering. 
Obviously, you're not going to get any kind of bittering from ice cream. You're not going to get it from chocolate syrup. So there's a big bittering component to it. Um, almost like you, 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 you like put in like ground dark roast coffee into a grinder and like pepper grinder and grind it into the ice cream to where you're getting some kind of bittering component along with it. It just has this kind of richness, even the way the mouthfeel comes off. So like when you do the whole thing that I explained earlier about taking that kind of ice cream and letting it like eating it with too much syrup, what happens is a lot of times the ice cream melts and you end up with this kind of amalgamation of syrup and ice cream. That's the way this kind of drinks. It has that kind of soft creaminess. Not nearly as sweet, even though this is a much very sweet beer. Not as sweet as that, but it gives you that kind of texture, that soft, creamy texture. If you were to give that kind of melted ice cream kind of chocolate thing, chocolate sauce, kind of a subtle carbonation. So you get that sweetness, you get that richness, you get that depth and complexity from a really good ice cream, a really good chocolate ice cream, a really good vanilla ice cream. And then you get that bourbon component, which is super welcome super round i keep calling it bourbon i know that it's it's willet um willet barrel age i don't know if will is actually bourbon so if i'm calling it bourbon it shouldn't be i'm sorry bourbon nerds um you getting that whiskey component um that's super rounded not hot in any stretch of the imagination um, that adds this kind of richness and, and kind of fruit character that you'd expect from a dessert but it's more kind of a bourbon thing so you get more fruit than you know, heat from it. And then there's the bittering. And that's where it kind of jumps the shark from the whole ice cream analogy that I'm trying to make the whole time. But it, 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 it just makes sense. It's like if we were to add some kind of some kind of bittering um, component to balance off all that sweetness in the ice cream. Like I said, kind of grinding some some dark roast chocolate beans or, or, or something of that nature to kind of kind of temper a lot of that sweetness and just end up being just a really good, really well-made barrel-aged beer. I mean, this is just... And it's weird because I'm talking about so many different factors here. I'm talking about that syrup. I'm talking about that ice cream. I'm talking about chocolate. I'm talking about vanilla. I'm talking about all kinds of things. I think this is just core four plus barrel. And I can't stress that enough. That's awesome if that's the case. I don't and I don't think there's anything in here. I don't think there's lactose in here. I don't think there's anything beyond just the stout and the barrel. And to talk about this in that aspect and focus on that when, when like you think about it, it's like there's not, this isn't pastry. It's a pastry beer. It's a pastry stout. It's what you would expect when you want something that's desserty. It's giving me all those flavors, but it's core four plus barrel. That's good beer. That's what I call good beer. At least not what I call good beer. Mm. That's exactly what I needed. I had a very shit day today in my profession. Actually, I crushed it. I crushed my profession today. But it was a very stressful day in my profession today. And I fucking, you know, sometimes you, you do some, you know, you kill it at work. You put it in a crazy day and... And you save the day <laughs> and fucking work. And you're like, I want a barrel-aged beer right now. And I picked this one. And I'm like, I'm going to do a review of this. I'm going to savor it. And god damn, I wish I... Actually, I was going to say, I wish I uh, opened it earlier. No, this is the perfect day to fucking open this. I'm glad I opened it today. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. You've heard everything I said about this. It's basically a chocolate sundae in the most perfect beer form. I can't stress it enough. It's still beer. It's not kind of just pastry. It's not just candy. It's beer that's delicious, but elicits a lot of those kind of flavors for me. Is this one of the better barrel-aged imperial stouts that I've had as of late? Yes. King Shit of Fuck Mountain, Mount Rushmore status. On there, it's delicious. This is what I want when you're talking about. Keep that in mind. Core four, even if there's lactose involved, I think it still falls into that. But let's just think about what they have in the label. Core four plus barrel. This is what I want. This is what I want every time. So yeah, it's delicious. Bag availability, no idea. 
Carson. Let me know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like beer. I'm just going to say that because the onion beer, like a barrel aged beer, it's a pastry set. No, if you like beer. If you don't like this, I'm sure there's a couple of people who don't like it. Same way a couple of people don't like Star Wars, but those people are wrong. And if you don't like this, you're wrong too. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a barrel aged beer as good as this one. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.